What's going on guys, Gaston right here. Once again, we're gonna talk about the Sony FX3 because today another piece of information has surfaced the internet. In this case, as you can see, there is another picture depicting the Sony FX3 with a top handle and also an XR module. So if you have missed the video last night, go check it out because it covers all the latest rumor about the features of the camera and also an analysis of what we can tell from those images that you know I share in that video. Now into this video, let's talk about this top handle. Let's talk about some of the other rumors and feature that this camera is going to have coming right up. Welcome back to the channel guys, Gaston right here and let's talk about the Sony FX3 but before I continue, let me remind you that I'll be giving away a brand new Xeon Crane 2S right here in the channel. All you have to do is follow the rules right here. Also, I'm going to list him down in the description. So I'm going to be announcing the winner on April 5th. Good luck to all of you guys. Alrighty, so let's talk about this camera because it's starting to look better and better by the hour, guys. I post a picture right now so we can talk about it. Now, the first thing that we can tell in this image, and I'm looking at my phone, by the way, is that this camera is going to have a top handle. And for what I can see, the top handle is right in the center. So this gives me indication that this top handle is going to connect through the uh, hot shoe mount of the camera and have internal connectivity. Now, the other thing that we can tell is I remember when we were talking yesterday about those uh, three uh, quarter inch threads at the top of the body of the camera. It seems like you're going to utilize those to secure the, uh, the top handle. Now, but it has more. It has also one on the side. And this tells me that potentially we may have a side handle also designed by, um, by Sony or just, you know, given the opportunity for third uh, party manufacturers to design something for the camera. That's really, really good. But let's talk about that XR module that you see at the end of the top handle. And as you can see, you know, it's located right at the front of the top handle and you don't see any wiring going into the camera. So that tells me that you are going to get connectivity all the way to the uh, hot shoe mount from the grip itself. So the grip is going to have internal connection. It's going to keep the setup very, very clean. Now, the next thing that uh, Sony Alpha Rumor is saying right here is that this XLR module and top handle may actually come included with a camera. And I want to talk about this because this is going to have to have some sort of uh, deciding factor in the pricing of this camera. Now, yesterday, remember, we mentioned that the price that is being rumored is 37.95 euros, which it translates to 4,600 US dollars. And someone in the video yesterday mentioned that that doesn't mean that that is going to be the American price for the camera. And, you know, our subscriber is totally right because this camera is most likely going to be a lot cheaper than whatever is being priced in Europe. So one of the things that I mentioned yesterday is that this camera is going to have to carefully you know come up with a price because it is going to have to protect all the other recent releases from sony which are a bunch number one is the sony a7s3 you know being kind of like that awesome cinema camera in a small form factor uh sony just announced the a1 which it also has an incredible feature and almost all the features from the sony a7s3 plus AK. And also we have the Sony FX6, which is a camera that Sony also unveiled not too long ago, and you can hardly get it still today. So the pricing of this camera just to be in between the 3800 3500-ish and 6500 dollars you know, would have to be at around $4,500 in my opinion. But now that we have this XLR module and this uh, top handle, this may actually drive the price of this camera even higher. I'm going to actually post the XLR module that I use, which it looks very similar to this one. I don't know if it's going to be that generic one or Sony is going to design one specifically for this camera. But if that's the case, you know, that XLR module can cost you up to $700. And this is basically what I pay for my XLR module. So if that's the case, we could have a camera probably for more than $4,500, maybe $5,000. And that's going to be still cheaper than the FX6 and cheaper than the Sony A1. So I don't know. In my opinion, you know, this camera should be at around $4,500 or less. Now, let's actually talk about the uh, European price of $3,795 because 
That translates to $4,600. And if that price is accurate, that may mean that the camera then could actually be under $4,000. So I have mixed opinions here of, you know, what Sony is trying to do here. But if that's the case, you know, a camera like this one with all that stuff included for under $4,500 or $4,000, it's gonna make this camera a hot seller. So now a couple of the other features that this rumor still confirm is that we're gonna have 4K up to 120 frames per second, which is going to be great. And I'm assuming that we're gonna have the same sensor as the Sony a7S III, you know, and that is also going to be great because it means that this camera is gonna be great in low light. Now, one of the things that um, this rumor also is telling you is that this camera is going to have the S Cinetone profile and you know that's actually going to be really good because it's something that you can find right now in the much more expensive you know FX6 and FX9 so if that is the case you know welcome this is going to be a little powerful camera guys um, now the other thing that you know this rumor is talking about is that this camera is not going to have any overheating issues in 13 hours of recording a 4k all-in 10-bit 4 to 2. So that is going to be actually incredible, guys. 13 hour, no overheating. But when you actually looked at those images that I posted last night, you can also see some sort of grill on the side of the uh, camera. And it said that this camera is going to have a passive cooling system, but chances are that this camera may actually have a fan because of the size of those grills right there. Now, all the cameras with passive cooling system, like the Sony A7S III and the A1, they don't have any sort of, you know, grilling like this, you know. The camera dissipates the heat through the body and through some of the openings that the camera has naturally. But over here, we clearly can see, you know, um, you know, a grill design like an exhaust on the side of the camera. So if that's the case, once again, you know, this one is going to be a true cinema camera. So guys, so far so good. I'm going to continue reporting about these cameras, you know, with the latest rumor. Now remember, this camera is said to be ready for pre-order on February 23rd. Today is February the 12th. So at 11 day, we may actually have a pre-ordering day for this camera. You know, a camera that no one saw coming, but at the same time, a camera that actually makes a lot of sense to exist. So let me know what you think down in the comments down below. What do you think this camera is going to be priced at? Are you excited that this camera is going to come with included XLR and top handle? We'd love to know what you have to say. Until then, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.